Hi, I'm Carla and I'm a messenger of the gospel. The first thing that happened today on our little journey was when we got on the bus, I was able to speak to a woman who didn't know Jesus and share the gospel with her and we prayed and she invited Jesus to be the Lord of her life. I got her contact information, so I have a new sister in Christ that uh, I'm looking forward to speaking with going forward. But you know, it was interesting, that was the appetizer. It sounds like in many cases that would be the highlight of the event. The salvation is a wonderful thing. It's incredible, it's beautiful. I don't take anything from it, but I love the way my God works with me. For me, he allowed that to be an appetizer because he had more to come. When I got up this morning, I felt like he was telling me that I was gonna be buying a pair of sneakers. And I thought, Lord, in, in a financial district, that's gonna cost a lot of money, but if that's what you lead me to do, that's what I'll do. So sure enough, my partner and I were walking along, we came up to a, a woman's shoe store. Now, what better place to find women to minister to than in a woman's shoe store? So I went in and I, I bought this pair of sneakers and we spent some time with a few women in there, prayed with them, and I walked out with my sneakers under my arm wondering what exactly it was I was supposed to do with them because they weren't my size. Um, we were walking along and we found this woman named Christine and her dog Margaret. She was flying a sign, she was homeless and trying to find a, a little support. And we just sat down on the sidewalk with her, which is what you do when you're ministering with homeless people. You don't tower over them, sit down with them on the sidewalk, just like Jesus meets us where we are. And we started talking to her, and I handed her the box. I asked her what size shoes she wore, and it was, of course, the size that God had me to buy. So I handed the sneakers to her, and she nearly started crying, and she shared with us that she's homeless, living in the street. She has a friend, and they, between them, they have one pair of sneakers and one pair of flip-flops, and they take turns wearing the sneakers. And it just spoke so deeply to my heart because not only was God speaking to this woman and letting her know, reminding her that he hasn't forgotten her, he will meet her needs, he loves her, she's important and she's valuable. He was also reminding me that yes, I can still hear from God. You know, sometimes I get so busy, so caught up with ministry and the job and all that that I feel like I'm losing touch a little bit. But you know, it, it's not about that. It's, it's, if God wants to use you, all you have to do is say yes. You don't have to be overly prepared or think that it's about you in any way, shape, or form. Just go out and say yes to whatever he tells you to do. You will hear from him. He will lead and guide you because it's really about the person he's bringing you to. So please, with me, everyone, keep Christine up in prayer. God loves her and so do they.